ladies and gentlemen, um, my dear YouTubers, I have a little project today with my wife's car. The one behind me is a Toyota Venza 2015. Uh, she start no my wife start noticing that there's some uh, squeaky noise coming from the front uh, passenger wheel. And uh, last time I was a mechanic shop, they told me, oh, you might want to replace the uh, brakes on the front. So let's take a look, see what the problem is with this vehicle. And uh, I'll show you step by step, even uh, how to change the uh, brake pads, if we have to do that. So this is the vehicle. I can't see much from here, from this side. So I have to do, I take these five uh, lug nuts off and we're gonna take the wheel and I wanna take a look at the brake pads see what's going on but there's no vibration when I drive and I brake there's no vibration there's nothing it's just like you can hear like squeaking and uh, so let's take a look so let's lift the vehicle up as you see on this Venza there's like a little area here a little spot for the uh, jack we put the jack since I don't have a nice floor jack to lift this up um, I use the the stock one that came in the trunk in the vehicle and then once I lift it up I'm gonna put it on this tripod so I lift this I lifted this uh, vehicle with this jack and the wheel is off the ground next thing I just put this jack stand under the vehicle underneath here so it's sitting solid and this I'm just gonna leave it here as a backup next thing I took my uh, Craftsman uh, power tool torque torque wrench and uh, start taking out the uh, lug nuts yeah, it was pretty easy. This thing pretty powerful. This one I bought it at Sears. It's Craftsman. Use it a few times. It works very good on lug nuts and on uh, if you're doing brake jobs, it's very good. So let's take all these five, all these uh, remaining four lug nuts. Easy. Comes out easy. There you go. Okay, so the wheel is off and. Uh, now it's time to look at these brake shoes, brake pads. Take a look. Alright, I'm just gonna take these bolts on the other side off. I'm gonna take them off. And we're gonna turn the wheel to the left. So on this Venza, if you wanna take these caliper bolts off, the size is 12 so it fits perfectly here and we're gonna take this one off first and then this one so then when uh, we take the uh, caliper off I want to see how thick are the uh, brake pads I could tell you from here like the inner one is kind of worn out pretty good so I have to replace the front brake pads looks like it So let's take these off and I found out the problem guys here is the problem you could tell that this brake pad is worn out worn out this one's still good this one is worn out that's what gives me the squeaky noise the you know you know very distinct sound from the brakes let's take these pins out let's see how bad it is Oh yeah, this is worn out pretty good. <laughs> so we're gonna replace these brake pads. This one's still good. Let's feel the oh shit. I feel the rotor. The rotor. Better also replace the rotor most likely. God damn. Because I can hear the feel the grooves on the inside of the rotor. So that's not good. 
I don't know. Let me show you with a flashlight. Well, I can't show you the light with the light, but you can feel there's a groove right here. Pretty good one. You can feel it. So, most likely you have to replace this rotor. Okay, guys. So, I have no choice but to go to AutoZone or get my rotors, my brake pads, and do the job right now. Do it today because this car needs to be back on the road by Monday and uh, let's get it done one thing I highly recommend don't leave this part the caliper hanging put the bolt back in there you know so I'm going to the store I don't want it to just fall to the ground also if you have like a hook or something when you work on it uh, just hang it over the spring so let's get this job done so I went to my local AutoZone I bought this uh, ceramic brake pads Duro last came with all the hardware. Also, I got these lug nuts for the three ninety nine. See, I screw one up, so I decided to buy the replacement. These are exactly the same like the original Toyota lug nuts. It looks the same, exactly the same. Anyway, and I got two rotors for the front. Part number 71915 and these are also Duralast Duralast gold brake pads I want to show you this advanced ceramic friction material designed for delivery smooth quiet stopping power with ultra low dust that's what I want I don't want dust on my rotors that's what I want and it came with all the hardware so let's get to work okay guys uh, let's start with this project so I removed this caliper bolt, 12 millimeter, and uh, hang the caliper like this. Make sure it's hanging out of the way. I use this bungee cord. You don't want this cable, uh, the hose, uh, brake hose to be, you know, kinked or anything. The next thing I'm gonna do, since we're gonna replace this rotor, we need to get rid of these bolts. We need to take these bolts uh, off. So we're gonna take 18 millimeter socket and we're gonna start you know take him off. Let's see what happens if I use my torque uh, impact driver. All right I took, I took my uh, impact wrench or impact driver. Let's see. All right came off pretty easy. Alright, let's put it here. And let's go on the top one. So this bracket, this whole bracket is gonna come off. Nice. It wasn't that hard at all. So let's see this bracket is moving now. Let's remove it. Awesome. And also, we're gonna replace all the brake hardware. And I'll show you how I'm gonna lubricate it, clean it. And also these boots, I call them. These, they, they're called boots. Make sure they slide. Because once these parts stop sliding, that's how you start have your brake pads getting stuck. So, let's put this on the side. Now, I'm just gonna take my hammer. Let's see, Let's start hammering this thing out of there. And this rotor should come out. All right, I really wanted to show you this. The easier way to remove this rotor is just take a bolt that you can screw in into this hole, see? And you don't even need to use a hammer. Just start, put this bolt in here, take your ratchet and start screwing it in and the rotor is just gonna pop out it was very easy now I don't know exactly what size is this bolt I just took it from one of my toolboxes and uh, I just try if it fits so I start screwing it in you know ratchet it in and the rotor just popped out now if you can't do that just take a hammer on the rear just start like you know hitting it and let's see the rotor is out and let me show you 
how bad does it look on the other side guys this is not good this is not good it's a good groove I don't believe you can resurface this one that's all right we're gonna get rid of this one disc yeah see this rust hey right, not gonna worry about it. goodbye rotor goodbye rotor let's take our new ones okay open the package always compare the rotors make sure they look the same feel the same have all the holes size and also this rotor is covered in this special coating so you gotta spray it with a brake cleaner and let it dry out because once we install it what's gonna happen it's gonna be a bad smell and you'll see smoke yeah yeah it looks good looks very good looks like good quality rotor everything looks like the same exactly the same so let's spray it I usually buy this product super tech brake part cleaner from uh, Walmart it works just great we're just gonna spray these rotors here remove all the coating both sides of course dry so guys very important to remove all this rust and around here especially so take a wire brush and start like scrubbing you want the rotor to sit nice and tight make sure there's no rust around here so yeah make it look good too so I clean the surface here to make it nice and smooth also around here so once we put the rotor on, it's going to sit nicely and there won't be any rust left. Just to, you know, do it properly. So let's put the rotor on, see how it fits. This rotor perfectly fits in place. I had no difficulties uh, putting it on. And uh, the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this bracket in which uh, brake pads sit. I'm going to remove this brake hardware, put a new one. I'm going to clean it, lubricate it, and also I'm going to take these boots. See these rubber boots? We're going to lubricate it on the inside. So let me show you step by step. Take a flathead screwdriver and uh, you have to take this hardware out of place. A highly, it's highly recommended to replace it when your brake shoes, when your brake pads come in with the hardware. Put a new hardware. It's very easy. Bottom one, and now the top bracket. See, on the inside, it's all like it's not rusty, but it's like gunk build up. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that brush that I show you. I'm gonna brush this area here, here, and here. Then, I'm gonna use this product, brake and caliper grease. I'm gonna lubricate it just a little bit and we're gonna put those, the hardware back. Put the, they call it, uh, I believe this is called shim. So let's get to it. Also, let's remove this boot, make sure it doesn't get ripped. There's also a lubricant in there. We're gonna clean it and lubricate it again with a new grease. Put it on the side. Check this uh, rubber piece, check this boot. Make sure it's not torn. Looks good. All right. Same thing on the other side, remove it. Put it 
on the side. Now you want to carefully remove this because you don't want to tear, tear this rubber piece. Then you have to go back to your hard, uh, outer zone. I managed to carefully remove these uh, rubber boots. And now I am just going to sand this area. Take a brush, this one, the wire brush. Clean it here, clean it here, clean the insides right here. So take a paper towel, clean this bolt from the old grease, clean it good. And you see this bolt that has like this kind of, uh, I don't know what it's called, like this kind of tip, right? It's going on top, it's going to go on the top here. The other bolt doesn't have that little tip. So remember that when you take this bolt out notice where it goes it goes on the top All right, let's take this grease We're gonna grease this Install the boot and put it all together So I greased it Now we're gonna put this rubber piece in here Nice it sits in there now we're going to install this bolt, kind of twist it, do this, done. Do a little bit of this motion so the grease actually can go all around. We're going to uh, repeat the same procedure for this bolt and for this rubber bracket. This is the bottom bolt. I greased it, kind of twist it around, you don't need to put a lot of grease, just tap it, you know, dab it. So look at this, you see how nicely this is moving now? That's what you want. good so I've seen a lot of problems like on my on my Honda's for example this would get seized this part would get seized and I would have uneven war on my brake pads so that was a problem these has to this these bolts have to slide nicely and make sure you don't have any tears and make sure there are no holes or any rips in this uh, rubber boots so it's important because water will get there and these bolts will seize and your brake pads will be wearing out unevenly or sometimes even get locked up so that's important make sure these parts are lubricated nicely and they're moving nicely before you install this brake hardware clean this area here and here same thing on the top and then I put this brake caliper grease just a little bit just a little bit just a dab and now you can install the hardware. Actually, add a little bit here. Not too much, just like a little bit. Now you can install the brake hardware. There. Same thing on the, on the top here. All right, so secure the rotor. Put these two bolts so the rotor doesn't wobble. Take your bracket, the caliper bracket, right? And let's put it in place like this. And then we're gonna secure the bolt in the back, the one we took out. Okay, I put the uh, bracket in place and now we're gonna screw this bolt into place. And then take the bottom one. Okay, it's good to have a torque wrench and set it to right here. And then uh, take your uh, 17 millimeter socket, put it on that bolt on the inside and start securing the bolt. You can hear click. Same thing with the lower one.
that's good these bolts are secured and the caliper bracket is solid you don't want to break these bolts because it's hard to uh, get them out later on so don't go too crazy now what we're going to do we're going to put brake pits in here the inside and the outside and uh, secure the uh, uh, push the caliper back into the into place Next step what we're doing we have to put this push these pistons back into place So they go all the way in so we can install our brake pads But for that take your old uh, Brake pad put it like this now, If you have a tool like this, which is cheap um, Use it. Let me show you how it's done. How it's done. So the idea is to push the pistons back all right and so here's the setup we're gonna turn this to the right and it's this part is gonna push against the uh, brake pad and it's gonna push both of the uh, pistons back in place so when you start turning you should see the piston being push, pushed back So now the pistons are pushed back, I'm going to install the pads, the inner pad and the outer pad. To install the inner pad, this metal piece has to be on the top and you see there's a curvature, it has to go on the back like this, like this. Now let's install, install the outer pad. And just like that. So the metal pin that's on the top has to be on the top. Everything looks wonderful. Now we're gonna secure the caliper. The yep, the caliper. To put the brake pads in, install these pins. Remember these pins? We forgot about them. Install these pins. Then you swing the rotor in place, in the, the rotor or bracket into place. All right. Once you push the caliper um, cylinder back into place, um, swing back this bracket. Install the top bolt. Install the bottom bolt, 12 millimeter. Start securing them. Everything looks good. Brake pad sitting in place. Everything looks good. So I secured the top bolt. You don't have to go too crazy. Just tight enough by hand. Don't go crazy on these bolts. Do the same thing with the lower one. It's done. So, together we installed the brake pads, we installed the new rotors, and now you know how to do it on the Toyota Venza 2015. What we're gonna do next, turn the wheel straight, install the, the tire. Double check your work always. Make sure all the bolts are back in place. This bolt is back in place, we tighten it up. behind here also check if you install the brake brake pads the right side the right side the right way make sure you have the hardware installed make sure these boots are not torn and make sure these bolts are tight but not crazy tight um, I don't know the specification I'm gonna look it up I'm gonna post it but uh, don't go too crazy with these bolts when you install the the wheel the important thing is was uh, fee, uh, align all the holes against the, 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 the lug nuts and uh, make sure it's even so the tire is sitting nicely and push it with the bottom of the foot kind of like this make sure it's even um, take the, the top uh, lug nut secure it 
don't use any power tools just go by hand same thing with this one this one do the uh, crisscross one here one here one here one here one here the right side is also I finished this and let's uh, double check these bolts are secured the one on the top one on the bottom these two caliper brackets bolts also secured this one and this one all right brake pad sitting correctly in there everything looks good we got those pins inside perfect now let's turn the wheel around Whew. project is finished guys I finished the passenger side did the driver side check everything and here's my the other side it is look nice nice and shiny I uh, double check everything put the new bolts over here looks good looks original looks like brand new I mean because it is brand new thank you again for watching my channel but before we finish up go for a ride tap on the brakes a few times when you're driving do not brake very fast slow and jet and you know let like slow down but not too fast you know and um, don't don't just slam on the brakes for the first few miles just let it you know work its way through so let's go for a ride okay I started the car first time when you press on the brakes the pedal is gonna go down and also don't forget to release the handbrake put the seat belt on of course let's go around the block Brake still on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I did not release the brake. What I did, I opened the hood. In order to release the brake, you need to push on it again. There you go. Now I gotta close the hood. Alright, put it in reverse. Let's back it up. So used to driving my car. Uh, that's, that's, this is my wife's car, so all right. Now, stops good. Stops nice, very powerful, very good brakes. 